Texas Longhorns and Oklahoma Sooners 2024 SEC schedule preview right now. What's going on, y'all? This is the West Report. Of course, I'm your host, James West. And, man, I hope you've been enjoying some of these recent episodes of the West Report with, you know, Ellie De La Cruz, J.J. Watt, my Big Ten preview of the USC schedule, and some other ones with Miles Sanders and the new Browns logo. Of course, as always, subscribe to Athletically Decline on the YouTube channel. And, of course, follow us on all social media platforms. Of course, hey, just want to give a shout out, as you can see on the ticker, to our sponsor, First Cup Coffee, code 80 Sports for 5% off on your order. Now to get to everything, the meat and potatoes, as of course, as you've seen in the startup, just this past yesterday, you know, Texas Longhorns and Oklahoma Sooners 2024 SEC schedule came out, released. Man, I have my thoughts and opinions on it, but before I do that, I just want to bring in I guess a special guest of mine. Now, of course, this guy, you know, you might have seen him on the Wild Wild West show as my March Madness winner. So now, of course, I'm bringing him in for this topic because right now, I'm not going to lie, he is my heavy UT fanatic. You know, I definitely always like to hear a word from him when it comes to UT. But, of course, he does represent some other schools that I will not mention because I don't care about those. It's all about Texas and Oklahoma today. Of course, man. Hey, welcome. Jordan Lawyer, man. What is going on, What's up, man? man? Hey, how are you doing today? Hanging in there. Oh, hey, I know, I know, I know. Hey, so before we get to popping, I know, our, man, I already see you wearing the Texas Longhorn shirt. So, hey, we already know how this episode is going to go for you. It's going <laughs> to be lovely, I guess. But before we get into things, Jordan, your initial thoughts – on UT and OU going to the SEC. Now we already knew this was back in the day. This was, you know, this was guaranteed. Yeah, this, but yeah, you know, I never really got to ask you, like, what were your initial thoughts on UT going to the SEC? Do you think OU, you know, deserved to go to the SEC? And do you think any other school deserves to go to the SEC? Uh, yeah, it's a. I think it's a good move for Texas and OU. The Big Twelve is getting stale, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, the basketball is good. The baseball is all right. But the football, I think Texas needed a change. We just hit that wall after 2010. We couldn't really get recruits. All the recruits are going to the SEC. Everybody wants to play in the SEC. All your NFL draft picks come out of the SEC. And uh, I think now now you can see it now with Sarks recruiting. The class, what we have, we got the third class last year. Yep. And then we just picked up another quarterback out of the state of Alabama that's coming. I can't believe we got him out of Alabama's backyard. And we got Arch. You got Arch, yeah. Now, I know, of course, I know I've made my preview about Arch, and I know his spring game wasn't as well. You know, I've seen all the videos of the Ducks, and but it's okay, man. It's just a freshman. You know, he's got a big spotlight knowing that he's got a Manning on the back of his jersey. I'm not worried about him this season. But, of course, as I mentioned, you know, because I thought Quinn Ewers last season, you know, being, you know, the Ohio man. State, you know, transfer, thinking, okay, this is going to the team to the next level. Of course – you know, I was disappointed in some of the games, of course, against Oklahoma State and TCU. But, you know, you that grow into the half. system. You grow into the system. Hey, man, this year, I, you know, I I have a little sprinkle, uh, you know, on him to win the Heisman because I think Do you? he should be able to win the Big 12, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm looking. Quinn just dropped, what, like 20 pounds? He's got a six-pack now. He cut the hair. He's fine. Looks like he looks the part now. He looks like he's a real Texas quarterback. There you I was go. a fan of the mullet, man. We can't um, be having that. You got to be a front, dog to wear that. I ain't going front. Quinn Ewers, he was looking like that dude. I don't know if you know the I think is his name like Stale Cracker on like social media where he makes all the big gumbo and yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly who you're talking about. Uh, what That's what Quinn doing. was looking like, but I'm glad you yeah, told me that, that update. Cause... <laughs> yeah, yeah, he looks way better. What I've been hearing from the spring uh, practices was he's, he was killing it. He's oh, yeah. finally looking the part. That's good. Now, and of course, hey, I will not deny. He looked the part against Alabama before he got injured. Like I mentioned, he, he should have. Hey, if he could have finished that game, I think they there would have been a there would have been a storm crowd, you know, on on that uh, stadium for sure after that game. Know. But um, 
do you like so of course you said about you know taxes they should they should get that um what about OU when you heard also OU was coming along were you like man this is like me carrying my wow, little brother to the damn party like I gotta bring his ass yeah. there you know no, I, I respect OU a lot man <laughs> I, I do they're, they're good at football uh we we needed them to come I, dude I can't the state fair, that rivalry, that's top three in college football. Mm-hmm. You can't oh lose yeah, that. that's Man, what yeah. I was worried about. I was worried about, but we had to drag them. We had to pay their their fee to get in to come in early. Uh, t- but I think no uh, worries, man. Hey, y'all got that dirty oil money, right? Y'all in the Saudis oh, from yeah. the live, y'all got- <laughs> dude. Uh, Texas <laughs> is another loaded, topic man. for another day. But just to hop into things, hey, Jordan. I don't know, man. I, well, I know you did see, but I'm going to act like you didn't see. But, man, did you see this Oklahoma 2024 SEC schedule release? Now, of course, for y'all that don't know, right now at the moment, Oklahoma only has 10 games uh, listed for 2024. They're still looking for two more games. Of course, hey, they got cupcakes on the non-conference side with Temple and Tulane at that. Norman. Yo, it's really I don't know, Tulane, though. Cool. Yeah, hey, Tulane, hey, you're right. Yeah, after last season and this year being the preseason Coach favorites. Fritz. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully he can, you know, get some transfers next season. Because I like yeah. I like their team. You know, last year, though, with uh, Tajay Spears and then with Pratt. I know Pratt's here this year, but yeah. we'll see what happens. But, and of course, so you got those two easy – I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say easy conference games because they're at Norman. They're be. on the road. I maybe give it some. But then I'm looking at the schedule. Texas, you know, of course, it's going to be in Dallas. You know, that's always going to happen. You know, that Love is that. what you get at Auburn where no one, you know, of course, yeah, and we're not saying Auburn's top, but, you know, anyone playing at Jordan Hare is always going to struggle. You know, then you yeah. look at, at LSU, Death Valley. <laughs> that's kind of, that's a good, that's a nice one. Now, Man, you know, they, they, they lightened up, they lightened up on the road schedule uh, just a hair by giving them <laughs> at Missouri, you know, who man, finally, you know, but I do like, you know, OU versus the Missouri, big back those old big 12 games and then at, at Big-day Oxford, news. at Old Miss, Lord. So this road schedule, I think is really tough, but then to even top it on with the home schedule, it's just Tennessee's coming to Norman. You got South Carolina, who you know probably won't have Spencer Rattler, of course. Yeah, he's but, but that court, but the head coach has brought in a great culture. Yeah, he's good. And, he's and, good. Then, and then Nick Saban and the Tide are coming to Norman. Holy Ooh, crap! I didn't, that's <laughs> Yo, a, that's dude. I'm Jordan. telling you, Texas and OU joining the SEC, man. That that football, that's must see football now. Must see the football. SEC. And, guess, and guess what? Before I even ask you about OU schedule, Big Ten. This is how you're supposed to do it. Don't be, don't don't be letting USC slide. And don't play Ohio yeah. State, and then you put Michigan at home. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's still gonna be. I'm gonna tune into the Michigan at USC game. But it, I don't know but, how. I don't know how those West Coast schools are gonna play in the in the snow. Well, I, I don't, that makes no sense. Well, with my episode going off on the USC schedule, their road teams now. Yes, they yeah they are going to Penn State. They might get a whiteout game. I did have a Ooh, comment about that, yeah, but I'm no not. Joke. But I'm not convinced on this road schedule with at Northwestern, at Purdue, and then I forget even the other Purdue. Ones. Purdue Purdue can be hard to play at. Purdue is hey Ohio State. Ohio State struggles in there. <laughs> uh, they, Ohio State has struggled at Purdue. But, um, to get but the. I guess to go back to it, Jordan, what are your initial thoughts on Oklahoma's schedule? You know, of course, of course, you know, first year coach, you know, last season, you know, you know, everything's going to be different with a new culture. You know, smoked. it wasn't as good in the Big 12 as they projected with, <laughs> but going into bad. the SEC in 2024, this schedule, right now there's only 10 games listed. So, you know, we'll see what the final two non-conferences will be. But looking at this, this is tough for OU, like, yeah, this, OU has a lot of holes in its in its roster. There's, I don't, this is a uh, who who's the quarterback? Uh, what's his name? Uh, what? Well, well, it might be General Booty by 2024. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you know, it's like you hey, went on that run where they had those Heisman quarterbacks, but now it's looking. I since Riley left, I don't. I've never seen OU that this down. It, yeah. It's pretty bad. I know. Last year, I know they had got that transfer from uh, Central Florida. I, I don't. I, yeah. I think it's Ga- is it Dylan Gabriel? Gabriel. Dylan yeah, Gabriel. I, I, yeah. I forget the name. Like He's that. got two first, two last names. I forget what it is. But 
Yeah, you know, he 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 you know, he I thought he played well, you know, during the start of the season with uh, Nebraska at Nebraska. Then he got hurt in some of those games with concussion. And then the season was kind of done after that. But going into 2024, like Jordan, how many how many games do you see this Oklahoma team winning just on the SEC schedule? Now I, I might I, we'll, we'll throw the cupcake out. Maybe maybe Missouri, maybe Missouri. But I'm looking at Texas, Auburn, LSU, Alabama, Tennessee, Ole Miss, and South Carolina. Woo! What a rude awakening! Like yeah, I don't want Oklahoma tough. to look like Vanderbilt now, but I don't think they will. But there's there's no time. Oklahoma is just a toss up right now. That mm-hmm. their culture, I don't. Uh, who knows? That coach could be fired after this year if he doesn't produce. They're not going to. And then uh, I wonder if Bob St- – is Bob Stoop still around there? I think he's helping them recruit. Hey, I don't man, understand he that helped. guy. Why did, he, why did he leave? Oh, man, hey, man if, I could, if I could remember why he wanted to retire, man, I'd have to look that up. And, then, and then Lincoln, he, he took over for Lincoln. Yeah. Harley. Oh, yeah, I remember yeah, that, that, that. That made no sense. That made no sense, yeah. That was like. Yeah, but we'll see. Uh, oh, use a toss-up, but, man, they're going to struggle. I yeah. think Texas is better prepared for the SEC with our recruiting classes and our quarterback room. Mm-hmm. Well, so, let, so let, we'll, we'll, we'll go to the 10. We'll go to, through the 10-game schedule. Of course, hey, I think we agree, Temple and Tulane, 2-0. 2-0, and yeah. we'll go 2-0. and All right, and then, of course, might as well go bias with Texas. We'll go 2-1. and one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Two and one. Okay. So then we so then we'll go into we'll go to at Auburn. Now, of course, we got Hugh Freeze, you know, former Liberty and Ole Miss coach. Now he's going now he's in Auburn. Of course, he's gonna throw he's gonna throw out, you know, the whole toolbox out with all his trickery and all his, you know, spread offenses. At Jordan Hare, do you see Oklahoma making any type of like competition out of this? Like I think maybe in yeah. my opinion, I'll start yeah. off with this. I'll start off with this. They'll probably have more competition at Auburn than people think, but it's still a tough environment where they could probably they could probably lose. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. I mean that's SEC. You could lose any night, man. It's no joke. No joke. The schedule's tough. And then of course at Death Valley, you know, of course, I'm not gonna lie, you know, I always hate I always I, if most of y'all don't know, I do roll with the tide at, uh, all the time. And I hate going to LSU because it's, it's just a, it's, it's a, a different, different beast. Animal, man. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, that's it's probably the toughest place to play on a Saturday night. Saturday night, indeed. Yes. Yeah. So I give. Oh man, I feel so. That's bad a loss. Them. Man, they yeah. they better. Ryan pray. Kelly's oh, got something going over. He's, the only thing Oklahoma better pray for is like it's a noon game or something. You know, yeah. some people <laughs> dragging from Friday night. Um, and back yeah. And <laughs> so Ooh, man, but I'm like so 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 we're gonna say we're gonna say right now two and three. Then we go at Missouri. I'll give them, I'll win. give I'll give them that one. We'll go three and three, and then you got Bama. <laughs> That's a loss. Man. Three maybe. and four. I, I you know it. Part of me wants me to say like you know maybe Oklahoma starts that game off like maybe seven zero. Everyone thinks that it's gonna some some's gonna go down. Right now I know Alabama this year doesn't know what they're who's going to be starting quarterback but they'll know by next year maybe in 20 oh, they got Jalen Milrow that came from Texas but I yeah Katie four star good. yeah man yeah, I heard he's not doing good though yeah no yeah right now I mean even with the game film you saw from him this past the last season you know at at Arkansas at he struggles A&M, throwing. just struggles throwing I mean and of course it's ball security it another athletic, man. but hey yeah he catches he catches the outside you ain't catching he's gone yeah yeah, yeah. He's gone. So we're gonna. So we got. So we got. What we got? Three and three. Oklahoma right now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, do we got three? Yeah, I got three and three. So we got three and four. We're gonna say Bama L, because um, I think any talent. Because even if they were to play, even if Georgia came in the Norman, let's say talent is just that Bama recruiting class is crazy. Yeah. I think they got nine five stars coming. We're all ready. Yeah. So, so we'll go three and four. So then now our, our debate will be South Carolina. Now, like I said, Spencer Rattler will not be playing Oklahoma. That would have been a nice – that would have been Where, so is that a Is that an away game? That's a home, home game. game. That's going to be in Norman. Uh, they'll, 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 I, I think they'll beat South Carolina. I think I think they will beat South Carolina. I, I would have loved, you know, of course, if Spencer Rattler had like one more, one more year. That would have been a yeah. lovely, <laughs> that would have been a lovely like SEC that guy's journey. That guy's journey is crazy, man. Definitely become from being, you know, the number one pick to transferring, being benched, going to South Carolina. I heard it's now, his attitude. 
Yeah, and now you're not even – You're. I know, like I said, you know, first-round pick projected back two years ago now, maybe not even – third or fourth round so that's yeah. something um, yeah. talk about fumble in that one and then we got tennessee coming to norman now of course some people I may not know this game this game is actually kind of interesting i know the last time they played was in needleville i think i think baker was on that team that was a f- exciting game um i man i'm not gonna lie right now even i don't think joe milton will be playing for the vols it'll probably be the um, five-star quarterback they got like two years ago. Oh, yeah, Eco. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to say his last name because I, I don't want to butcher that. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think – But even with Heupel and his offense, you know, he, I will say this. If Oklahoma struggled playing defense in the Big 12, they're going to struggle playing defense against Tennessee. Yeah. Well, the Big, 12, Big 12's offenses are way more spread out. Oh, yeah. Oh, to yeah. The SEC traditional, oh, yeah, run it, run it down mm-hmm. your throat, physical. Yeah. So it's all about the trenches. So then we got now four and five. So we got four and five, and then at Ole Miss, of course. Oh man! Now I'm not gonna. I I can see Oklahoma squeezing a win out of this because just bear with me on it because I know yes, Lane Kiffin he'll have a he'll have a super talented offense, but with me, you know, even though this season is just too up and down. Yeah, they're way too up and down. I haven't seen like an established like. You know, and they haven't I haven't seen like an established quarterback play. Now, of course, don't get me wrong, they've had quarterbacks from you know freaking um I can't even think of the guy's Who name. Who was it? Uh, and I, I know it? they had I know they had Bo Wallace that you know, but like I said, they're not like um I'm trying to think of the guy. Um what was Kelly? Kelly, um Jim Kelly's the Joe, guy. Uh, he, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, can't even think about it. But you know, I, they've had like decent, you know, even with but they just haven't had like a guy, like for example, like maybe Quinn Ewers or a guy like you know have guys yeah. like Jalen Tua, you know even you know so it, or even a Bryce Young. So I I I'll actually give them I'll give them a dub. Why not? So we got five and five, and then depending depend depending on the two uh, non conferences, which one of them will be a Power Five team, you know we're looking at maybe a. Worst case five and seven, best case seven and five. Ooh. Who's the last two? Uh, t- uh, who's the last two they got? Well, they haven't made that announcement yet. They haven't. Oh, they haven't right. got those really scheduled. Really they time. haven't got those scheduled yet. Yeah, but I know one of them will be a power five. That won't be an issue for Texas as we jump into this. Texas one. messed up, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> Yo, we Texas. made our. Two, we made our. Uh, now Texas, I'll, I'll say this, man. Hey, I appreciate you. <laughs> Doing these type of things, but man, when you playing in the SEC, hey man, you don't, you don't, you don't play the top teams in the Big Ten. Just like, hey, but hey, I'll give you credit if you run the table. So you got starting off Colorado State at home. We'll just call it a dub. We got, we got a one zero dub. Colorado State Rams. Sorry about you. Then September seventh, twenty four, week two. It looks like at Michigan, at Ann Arbor, the Big House. Now you're looking at. You're looking. Quinn Ewers is probably not going to be there in 24. So you're looking at Arch Manning, or you're looking at um, yeah. I was about to say. He, I heard. I heard he's he had a cannon. good. I heard he had a better spring than Arch did. So it's gonna oh, be yeah. it's not even close. Yeah. So. Uh, he Arch is going to get. He's going to redshirt. Yeah. No, I I totally agree about that one. Yeah. So where where are we go now? Of course, you know it will. You know, yeah, Big Ten. You know, they play. You know that pounding ground with you know i think jj mccarthy won't be there next year as well so you're probably looking at yeah a heavy heavy stack running back group of course That's what ann arbor they'll have. probably hey please make that a night game college football do not mess that up like I yeah, they probably won't they'll probably be a big 10 noon game the noon games they do <laughs> they'll, put, they'll put reggie oh no reggie bush not gonna be on there i heard i heard my is he off bush. Yeah, yeah. I heard oh, Mark Ingram's gonna be on there. Oh, yeah, Mark Ingram will be good. Yeah, yeah so we'll probably good. see Mark Ingram, Matt Liner. Hey, Urban hey. Meyer. Hey, we'll see those guys. Big noon. Urban uh, Meyer, man, I can't stand that guy. So, 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 what would you give? What would you give Texas on? The, you gonna give them a dub? Or you gonna give them an L? Oh man, in Michigan, uh, uh, it's weird when Texas plays the Big Ten teams, the home and home. We usually mm-hmm. win away, and then we lose at home. We did the same thing with the Ohio State. When we played him back in uh, when was it? The Colt McCoy days. Oh, wow. or no, it was 05. Was like- Vince Young, Vince Young went into Ohio State and beat Ohio State. And then we lost the next year with Colt. But mm-hmm. uh, nah, I don't know, man. It 
just depends. Oh, God. I'm going to have to go with the L. Go I, with I the L. Hey, it's, it's, hey, it's definitely it's let me down. down. Hey, it's okay to take this L early. It's a non-conference game. It would be a lovely setup if you run I table. I believe they did this. Yeah, and then, of course, next three, we – um. so I'm assuming we're going to say wins with UTSA, UL Monroe at home, and then we already agreed we're probably going to go Texas over Oklahoma in the Cotton Bowl. Yeah, it's not oh. going to blow up. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna start off four and one. Now, next game you got at Arkansas. For most people that don't know, people don't know that this is oh, not a rivalry. This is a rivalry. It is a rivalry. This we hate each rivalry. other. Like this, they really do hate each other. Everyone they troll knows. us. They troll us on Twitter all the time. Every time. From you know, a lot of people from the eighteen hundreds to the nineteen, you know, even I remember going to March Madness and UT was in Little Rock and they were Booing the mess out oh, of I was like, us. I was oh, like, they're they not playing Arkansas. Us. I'm a young kid. I'm they like, hate us. Yeah, dude, they hate y'all. And then, of course, you know, the last time y'all played was at Fayetteville, and of course, that game, yeah, that put that put Arkansas on the map. Got them on, got them on the uh, top 25 rankings for sure. That, that was Sark. That's probably Sark's worst coach game of his career at Texas. Probably. That, that was awful. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know why he was trying trying to get Hudson Card to play that. Yeah, Casey no, came I, in and made it look like a game, but it was too late. Too late, indeed. <sighs> so you got at Arkansas uh, now, knowing knowing Arkansas. Like, I know KJ Jefferson will not be there. Um, I do yeah. not know the recruiting for the quarterback position, but you always know, like the hey, they're the Hogs, and That's they're gonna have a dude, hog yeah, yeah. offensive yeah, alignment. Yeah. Is you know that line of scrimmage will be difficult to get by for sure. Yeah, Texas has got some D line that are coming. We just need some edge rushers. We're mm-hmm. struggling in edge rushers, but I don't know. Now I'm gonna we, give us a go. You, you go. You go. Give them the L, or the dub. No, nah, I'm gonna give us a dub. I think. I think, we'll, dub. Have, I, think right. we'll, I think we'll have the offense to uh, pull that one out. Okay, we so then now offense. So the, so we're so we're going five and one going into mid middle of the season. You you got Florida Gators coming to Texas. I'm gonna give y'all a dub on this one. I'm gonna give y'all a dub. If this was the yeah. swamp, I would love that. But I'm gonna give yeah, Texas uh, a dub. Um, I know Billy team, Napier. Man, yeah, I know Billy Napier is trying to, you know, have have a, you know build a new culture. I don't know if from what his days were like at Louis that Louisiana Lafayette are gonna translate to an SEC school. But I see Texas at home. You know, hey, y'all, y'all, y'all's, y'all's environment's too tough for you know uh, as well. So I'm, I'm gonna give y'all a dub. So we got six and one, and then of course, you got the big boys coming into town. You got the real dogs ooh. coming. You got the Georgia oh. Bulldogs coming into Austin. Holy crap! I can't wait for college game day <laughs> to come. Yeah, into oh for week. sure. Man, uh, Austin will be popping. I. Man, I can't even. Oh, I was thinking about thinking about these teams. The last time they played, woo, Bevo, hey, Bevo. Oh yeah, I forgot, I forgot about now, that. Yeah, hey, hey, I hey, we got to bring the bulldog and Bevo back. See if they, even though it is a new bulldog now, they got a new bulldog. Yeah, <laughs> they got to bring them together, man. Maybe get Bevo, a photo out saying no hard feeling. We just animals. <laughs> Crazy. He set the tone that day. He did definitely. Hey, shoot, y'all won that Sugar Bowl, and then hey, we yeah. heard the, we heard the infamous, you know, saying the meme. We're back. <laughs> Trying to copy Vince Young. Oh, oh dude, that was great. So, so what what would you give Georgia? You know, I mean, what would you give that We're game? Lose that game. Dude, you give that, okay, so we go six and two. Georgia's a monster. Yeah, no, yeah, George. I mean, you know what's crazy is that you know right now, even this year. You know, they have a quarterback competition between two guys. One guy's been there like four years, and the other guy's a highly recruit. And then, of course, they got a, I forget, they got the number one quarterback coming in, yeah. I think, next season. So that'll be interesting. Yeah. But of course, their talent, Kirby Smart's just been a recruiting dog, no pun intended. Yeah, that quarterback they got coming is good. I was watching that uh, top 11. He mm-hmm. was killing it. He is, yeah. I've seen some of his throws. It do, and he's not a small guy, he's a big guy. Like, like, I think, dude, man, he's he's gonna be ready. So we'll go six and two. Next two, I'll give you. I'll give you these two: Kentucky and Mississippi yeah. State at at Texas. I'm gonna give. Yeah, Mississippi you. State. Yeah, I, I don't want to deal with. Do they still do the cowbells? They still do the cowbells. Yeah, in Starkville, they do. I remember when Texas used to do that in the early 2000s. That was annoying. I can't not do that. 
<laughs> so then it comes down to your finale two games. Of course, this will be definitely a Thanksgiving game, if not maybe a Black Friday game. But hey, the Lone Star rivalry. Game. They gotta be. Dude, I am so excited about the Lone Star Rivalry. <laughs> How the tickets are gonna be for that game? Man, hey, Ooh, 13 years since they last grip. played. Man, yeah, our best bet is you either know someone or you watching it at home. Or hey, if you got the bag, Jordan, hey, you hey, you let us uh, know if you got the bag. I ain't trying to get beat up. <laughs> I ain't trying to get beat up. Those fans are crazy, man. Now, of course, College Station, you know, 13 years ago, of course, the venue was not as big as it is now. So there'll be 105 yeah. plus thousand it's screaming, doing their little, you know, one, you know, it's, <laughs> I call it, I call it the military swag. Sort of thing, but. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> it's awful. Uh, that culture, man, they were getting roasted last year. All that stuff was popping up. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you got so you got Texas AM Jor. Hey man, realistic, real honesty. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna give y'all the dub. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go we because if because if Jimbo Fisher somehow survives this season, he, he Dude, takes the L guy. y'all year one. Who did they bring in as an offensive coordinator? They brought in Bobby Petrino. <sighs> yeah. Man, did they, they not learn? You got to get a new young guy. The young guys are the new offensive Yeah, corners. the young they guys. They go old school. It doesn't, that stuff's over, man. I know. And then, of course, I've always been critical about Jimbo recruiting quarterbacks anyways. like Dude, you know. Jim, Jimbo was – let me tell you this. I'm a Florida State fan too. Jimbo <laughs> was trash at Florida State. He only won that national title because of our defense. Oh. We were always we were always behind and We would have to make a miraculous comeback because we had Winston. But mm-hmm. that, that defense really won us that national title. Because oh, yeah. the way he ran that offense in the national title game against Auburn, that was awful. Oh, score. man. And it shoot, even even now his time at Texas AM, his offense had been horrible. Man, Dude, man that game, it really, they hit the low point against uh, who was it that came to Appalachian State? Appala- hey. That was awful. Oh, that, was awful. That, was hard, that was hard to watch. It, heck yeah. I mean, <laughs> every, you know, Ever since then, ever since Jimbo's been in, everyone's been tooting their horn at College Station. They, Dude, I mean, the coming out, the guy, they had, they bought, they they brought the bag out. They brought the bag out, and then they, they came and then, out. Was like, and then all those dudes transferred out. I think most of them. No, I won't say all, but most of the dudes. I know what College Station's really about, man. Yeah. So then we'll give you. So we'll give we'll give the dub at College Station. It'll be a tight one, maybe if not a tight one. I mean, I don't expect a forty-eight zero blowout, but no, no. It'll, it'll be it'll be emotional. It's gonna be a low scoring game. It'll be a low scoring game. Low scoring. I agree with you. So we'll go nine and two, and then to finish off your toughest game in the year at Vanderbilt. We <laughs> we'll got Vandy. They, gave, got us, they gave us the. They yeah. gave us the free dub. It gave you give you a free dub right there. So hey, ten and two, you go. You, you lose one game in the SEC. You know, you lose one game. I feel like there's. I feel like I. I may. I may, I may say that arc. We may. Lose. There's no way we're gonna go ten and two in our first year in the SEC. First year in that. So we'll say what nine and three. Nine and three at, nine, at the top. Nine and three. Hey, hey, you never know. Hey, with now the new, you know, with now the new scheduling, and now there's no divisions. You know, hey man. You might, hey, you might, a hey, nine and three. You might be up there with all the nine and three, <laughs> Georgia, Bama. Yeah, they're like, gonna expand the college football playoffs, aren't they? By then, or yeah, not? yeah, next season, yeah, soon. So as soon as oh, Texas man. and Oklahoma are in the yeah. SEC, the, it's going to twelve. Of course, as mentioned, the divisions East and West are getting eliminated. So the top two teams will play in the SEC title game in Atlanta, Georgia. That's but, good. Yeah. So of course, hey man, this hey this reaction, this I, I like the preview. I think. I, I will admit, I think Oklahoma will go six and six. Uh, first Probably. year in the SEC, I can see nine and three. I can't, I can't argue with maybe the loss to uh, potentially Arkansas. But you know, I, I like a good. A, it's a good first year, anyways. I mean, of course, you know. Then after, I can't wait to see what the schedules will look like for twenty five and twenty six. Because I know, yeah. hey. We know LSU is probably going to be coming in. We know Bama's going to be coming Ooh, in. I, I mean, I, I know I this year. LSU. I know this year for y'all, you got Bama in Tuscaloosa, so that will be an eye watcher for sure for me. Jordan, oh, yeah. hey, hey man, before we wrap up, before we wrap up, man, yo, you got you you got man, you got your top three. Let's say your top three favorites to win the college football playoff this year. Georgia. Georgia, so you got Georgia, so we're, so we're going, so we're going, just chalk it up, just Georgia. No, uh, Georgia, Bama, 
Um, man, it's always those two teams that I always watch. Like, man, they, you know one of them's going to be in the national title. It's a collision course. Oh, yeah. But maybe uh, – Maybe LSU, LSU, man, they yeah. may they may actually have a good year. Yeah, if I I had some long shots this year, and my long shots, so LSU was my third because you know bringing back Jaden Daniels, you know, hey, that experience, I could see that coming through. Man, yeah, I, I'll give I'll give Kelly some credit, finally beating Bama as a coach <laughs> in general. Yeah, that was good, yeah. That was <laughs> in general, you know, he got one, that and then that was I, a so, so I like so I like LSU. I'm not putting too much value on USC. Because I feel like they, sh- they, I, like I said, I'm not too much, value, not too much value. Like I said, because uh, you know, I, I give, I'll give Caleb Williams some credit. I know their offense will be great, and I know they have some transfers coming in defense. Until I see them play, you know, at oh, yeah, they got Barry Alexander. at Colorado, then I'll, I'll see what's up. And then I ain't gonna lie, I like Florida State. Of course, a lot of people may not like it, but if you can, find, if you can find a way to just beat, in my opinion, Clemson. beat LSU. I mean, you could lose that game and be fine. Yeah, you could lose that game. But if you can beat Clemson uh, in September, I think it's at Clemson, I feel like you got an – not an easy road, but you got a good road ahead of yourself. ACC yeah, title. kind of weird. You could play – you could be playing Clemson again, maybe, if not Drake May. I like I like Jordan Travis. I like the team y'all bring. Y'all bringing back Ooh. a lot of talent again. Dude, a monster, man. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah, they're bringing back a lot. I think like eight of the last uh, – eight yeah. came back for the offense. I, I think last year, I think even last year, y'all brought back so much defense. This year, y'all still bringing back like eighty-five or ninety. If we can get our offense, we we Florida State's been cursed with bad offensive lines. If this offensive Whoa, line can hold true. it together, mm-hmm. then we got a chance. But hey, Jordan, hey, as we're wrapping up our reaction to the Oklahoma UT schedule making for twenty twenty four preview, hey man, anything you got to say, man, before we let it go? Oh man. Uh. Uh, so, yo, this is your I'm moment. Just excited. Your I'm, I'm, su- I'm super excited about joining the SEC, man. The yeah. re- I can't. We're gonna bring in some crazy revenue. It's, it's those. The, the, the only problem is the Texas t- the tickets to get the, at the Texas game is gonna be pricey. Oh yeah, they're and gonna the, be. Pricey. They're probably gonna double. Those things are gonna be pricey. I'm excited, man. But, it's hey, gonna man. change college football. Oh yeah, definitely. Hey man, let me let you go. Hey, of course. Hey, this is James West. This is Jordan Loy on the other side. This is the West Report, man. And hey, this was the Texas Longhorns in Oklahoma 2024 SEC season preview.